told you a few weeks ago that it is panda birthday season yeah. out at the National Zoo. And that includes a very special celebration happening today. Xiao Chi Ji is celebrating his third birthday. But unfortunately, Joe, it is likely his last one here in D.C. as all See. the pandas are going to be heading back to China at the end of the year. All of them? I know. This is so sad. Hold so, on, all of the pandas? All the pandas are going back. We'll ask, we'll ask Gwen why. She's joining us live from the zoo. What? Gwen Talbert there. Uh, Gwen... I guess first tell us why all these pandas are heading back to China soon. Well, it's an agreement that they had in the partnership with China. I mean, originally, the first original uh, two pandas were given during the Nixon administration as a gift, and then they passed away. And then they did a loan program. That loan program now coming to an end, unfortunately. And I'm going to tell you something. I call myself a pandaholic because I <laughs> adore the pandas. I live oh, on that panda cam. And today's a day where there's so many people that are coming out just for that reason. I want to turn our camera over here and talk to uh, Tim. Now, Tim, you're out here, and the reason you told me is because you heard they're leaving. Absolutely. Uh, my girlfriend and I learned that the pandas were going away, and we decided to come today. We learned a few days ago. We didn't know when they were leaving. And we learned a few days ago that they were leaving, so we came today to see them, and we weren't disappointed. So how long have you been coming to the zoo just to see the pandas over the years, and what, are, what do they mean to you? Um, the pandas are a part of D.C. Uh, an agreement is an agreement. I understand that. But it's something that we can do together as a family. And we're scouting for our kids to come out when they, uh, when they come visit, and knowing that they're not going to be here is a disappointment, uh, that the kids are going to miss it. That's a, that's a really big deal. All right. Well, thank you for talking for me, and I'm glad that you did get to come out today before they are gone. So we mentioned that today was a huge celebration. Take a look at this video because it was a birthday celebration, as right. you mentioned, for that three-year-old, for Shao C.G. celebrating his third birthday. And I'm going to tell you, he had a multi-layered cake, three topper frozen diluted apple and pineapple juices with a mixture of mashed sweet potatoes. Makes me hungry. Mashed carrots and honey tears decorated with apples, sweet potatoes potatoes, carrots, and bamboo sprig. But you know what? Once again, this will be his last birthday here, unfortunately. Uh, he and his parents, 25-year-old Tian Tian and 25-year-old Mei Shang, are going to be leaving the zoo by the time we get to December. Now, there's no exact date, but the agreement is that they would be heading out uh, before the agreement ends in December. And what are they going to do in terms of the space that they have here now? That's still a question. I mean, millions of zoo visitors have enjoyed coming here and seeing the pandas and enjoying them. Mm -hmm. But we spoke with one of the representatives today, and take a look at this full screen, because here's what they said when I was inquiring about whether or not, you know, we would get any more of the pandas back here. They said, we're working with our Chinese partners to develop a new giant panda program. Mm -hmm. After 51 years of success, we remain committed to the conservation of giant pandas. Next steps for us include identifying what science and conservation needs are for the species' future and how we will best pool our expertise and resources to attain those conservation goals. So that's at least a good thing. Also coming up uh, in September and into October is going to be Panda Palooza, and it's going to be a celebration of all things panda, giving them a great send out before they do leave D.C. So we embrace them. We love them. We hope that maybe this new panda program will bring new pandas back again and yes. we can definitely enjoy them. I was just inside and let me tell you, all three of them are just amazing to really see. You yes, know, Gwen, I do remember Caitlin Roth told me a, a few weeks ago that you were like the panda expert. You just love pandas. So <laughs> this was the day of all days for you to get out there. I love that. Thanks, Gwen. It's <laughs> yes. And it's 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 bittersweet for me. I I'm a toddler who remembers when the pandas came. I was a toddler when the first pandas yes. came, and then the pandas were everywhere. America had panda mm -hmm. fever. They were in cartoons. They wore everything on shirts, and and they they are the icon for our zoo. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we need them to come they back. They are.